Did you know that you can also measure the temperature with your micro bit? In this mission, you are going to build a digital thermometer. To be able to build a thermometer, you must know the temperature, of course. And even though the micro bit does not have a separate temperature sensor on board, you can still measure and read the temperature with it. That's because the micro bit reads the temperature in the microchip. That's this little thing here. On the chip, there is a sensor that measures the temperature and it can measure it very accurately. The only thing is that this sensor does not measure the outside temperature where you are, but the temperature on the outside of the chip. This may cause a difference in what the real temperature is and what the sensor reads. Good thing we have a solution for that. We are going to adjust your thermometer. There's a nice word for that, calibration. There are two different ways to measure and indicate temperature, Celsius and Fahrenheit. And because the micro bit is originally from England, it measures and indicates the temperature in degrees Celsius. No problem for us. Computers are good at calculating, so we just add another little piece of code that will convert degrees Celsius into degrees Fahrenheit. Connect your micro bit to your laptop or PC, start up your browser, and navigate to makecode.microbit.org. The temperature is a standard block in the editor. I want my micro bit to show the temperature, this block, when I press on the A button. I drag the following blocks. On button A. Three math blocks. Show number and the temperature block. Attach them there this way. To convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, I first multiply the temperature with 18, divide it by 10, and add 32. If I press on button A, then show the number temperature in Fahrenheit. And I can test my code by pressing the A button. Your turn. Well, that was simple, right? However, we are not sure if the micro bit indicates the correct temperature, so we are going to calibrate it. Find the nearest thermostat for the heating system. This always indicates the temperature of the room. If you found it, press the A button and compare the temperature that your micro bit indicates to the temperature that the thermostat indicates. For example, the room thermostat indicates 70 degrees, but my micro bit only 68. So I have to add two degrees to the temperature of my micro bit. It is also possible that the temperature on the thermostat is lower than what my micro bit indicates. In that case, you have to subtract the difference of the temperature on your micro bit. Your turn, find a thermostat and remember the difference in plus or minus compared to the temperature on your micro bit. Did it work? Awesome. Now we have to adjust the code. From math, I choose the 0 plus 0 block and drag it to my work field. Now place the whole previous code in the math block. Now I can choose if I had to add something to the micro bit temperature, then I leave the plus. If I had to subtract, I change the plus into a minus. Then I fill out the difference between the temperatures of the micro bit and the thermostat. Done. Your thermometer has now been calibrated. Your turn. I actually want to have a thermometer that is a little smarter. One can tell me if the weather will be nasty, comfortable, or warm. Then I will know what kind of clothes to wear that day. In order to achieve that, I'm going to expand my script a little. First, with a variable for the temperature. A variable is a spot in the memory of the computer where a certain value, certain information has been stored. This variable can assume certain values, in this case, the temperature. 
because if I save the temperature once in the memory, I can easily read out the rest of my script multiple times. So first we create a variable for the temperature. It is a good idea to name your variable with a descriptive. So I call it temperature. I drag the variable on my work field. We now have the variable temperature and the correct adjustment or calibration of the temperature. We are now going to have the one line code read out continuously by your program. To do that, from variables, take the block set temperature to and put these blocks together in this way. My line now reads, always set the variable temperature by adding x degrees to the temperature of the micro bit. Your turn. I think I also want my thermometer to tell me what to wear that day. To accomplish that, I have to add a line if then three times to my code. First, if it is 60 degrees or less, I want it to say, brr, cold, warm sweater. Second, if it is between 60 and 75 degrees, nice weather, t-shirt. Third, if it is warmer than 75, hot, shorts. So I add from logic a block if then. And by clicking on the icon plus, I add two extra blocks of else if. Then I attach the block under when button A is pressed. Your turn. From logic, I take the block 0 is smaller than 0 and drag it to the spot of true. From variables, I take the variable temperature and drag it to the first 0. I change the smaller than to equal to or larger than. I change the second 0 into 75. From basic, I drag show string to behind the first then. I change hello into hot shorts. Now it reads, if the temperature is higher than 75 degrees, then show the text, hot shorts. Your turn. Of course, you can come up with your own text too. Now duplicate. For instance, by using the right hand mouse button, both blocks twice and stick them on the other free spots. In the middle block, change the 75 into 60 and the text into nice weather t-shirt or whichever text you prefer. Then in the bottom block, First change the greater than sign into a smaller than sign. Change the 75 into 60 and the text into brr cold warm sweater. If it is less than 60 degrees then show the text brr cold warm sweater. All done. You can now test the code by clicking on the A button on the screen of your micro bit. Did it work? That's super. If it didn't work, replay the video and check step by step if your script, the blocks, are exactly the same as in the example. We are now going to send the code to your real micro bit. In order to be able to send this code to your microcomputer, we first have to download it to your computer. Give your script a name, download it, and drag it to your micro bit. Connect the batteries. And press the A button.
Cut out the form from your template. And decorate the thermometer as you like it. Fold it and glue it together. Place the micro bit into the holder this way. If it doesn't stay in place, use a piece of tape. Done? Cool. In this mission, you have worked on a temperature sensor, calibrated this sensor, created a variable temperature, made your thermometer smarter with a number of lines of code in your program, and built the holder for your thermometer. Well done! Bye for now. See you at the next mission.